All right, now let's take a look at uh, the market. Now we look at the price of Bitcoin there. Uh, below $20,000 and we see the fear greed index in the market showing sentiment right now deeper into extreme fear in that market is at 16 points uh, talking about how uh, traders see the market right now and look at the uh, market cap there 887 uh, billion dollars that's down about 2.45 percent volume traded uh, 53.21 a billion dollars that's down about 1.76 we're seeing uh, sell-offs in the market we're seeing bitcoin there at $19,868 losing that $20,000 mark down 0.86 uh, percent volume traded in bitcoin 24.25 uh, billion dollars and we see ethereum there uh, moving closely to lose that $1,000 mark it's down 0.93 percent see sell-offs in that uh, asset there it's down it, it uh, volume traded it's about 11.69 uh, billion dollars we're seeing mostly red on the top alt uh, by market cap all right now let's bring in uh our guest now solomon amunde join us right here great to have you solomon good morning laddie yeah so back below twenty thousand dollars again and yeah it's a bear market but how do you stay profitable in a bear market so it's it's pretty easy in the, in the bear market. Why? Because we have less noise and we don't have so much FOMO in the market. So everything seems pretty clean and easy to follow the trend, basically. And the issue is most persons always expect the market to go up. But the easiest way to trade the market is um, follow the trend. And right now we're looking at Bitcoin making a reach for about $19,000 before we can go up a bit to about 21k but in all we're still looking very bearish and most likely we would see 14 to 15 thousand dollars so right now for for traders you need to keep um, most of your 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 tokens um in fiat basically keep more of usdt and more of busd and other stable coins so that you can dca into good assets basically Right, because we, we know what happened to that other stable coin, uh, the UST, and a lot of people lost money yeah. with that. So uh, it, it's quite scary when stable becomes unstable. But uh, talking about, you know, uh, the, the trading in the bear market, how do you spot the right project? You said there's less noise at this point, but how do you spot those really good projects? So, so basically, there are projects that have been building quietly and developing. Um, it's best you focus on projects with utility, projects that are solving real world issues and projects that you can actually create value, not um, meme coins and shit coins or projects that are based on hype. So in the bear market, focus on projects that are actually working. You know, we, we all have um, roadmaps for every project and most projects, they have not achieved up to 30% of the stuffs on their roadmap. So you need to stay clear of those projects. Focus on the ones that are undervalued and have achieved about 70 to 80% of the stuffs on their roadmap. Extremely undervalued keyword and also focus on the tokenomics. So knowing the undervalued projects is basically drawing a comparison from their tokenomics and also the fully diluted market cap. That's how you analyze and get those projects. Right. And uh, right now, you know, we're seeing, you know, a lot is happening, you know, in this space. We're seeing a lot of these uh, uh, companies not able to, you know, uh, meet the customer needs, not uh, see most of them, you know, ha losing liquidity at this point. And we see Voyager there say they can't guarantee that all customers will receive their crypto under the proposed uh, recovery plan. What should retail be doing at this point? So um, re retail investors right now, they are the mercy of um, this institutional um, backers and companies. Why? Because um, they, they should be hoping that the wheels don't pull out their phones from those platforms because um, we have wheels and we have um, retail investors. And if there's any wheel on any of these centralized platform with huge phones there and they try to pull out, obviously that will leave the retail investors stranded. So that is why we advise everyone trading crypto 40% maximum of your assets, your crypto assets on centralized ex exchanges or centralized platforms. Move the rest to the centralized platforms. That is the idea of cryptocurrency basically. And that's the problem that the blockchain and crypto was actually built to solve from the onset. But most persons still keep 90% of their assets on centralized exchanges and they suffer it severely.
Yeah, and also it's not easy being your own bank, having to keep all those uh, assets yourself. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we've seen a lot of trends in this uh, crypto industry. We've seen uh, move to earn, play to earn, uh, the NFTs, uh, DeFi, that's still hot right now. W what else is new? What new trend is brewing at this point? Yeah, yeah we've seen them recently walk to end, walk to end like W-A-L-K just walk to end, which is slightly like move to end, but um, with, a, with a slightly different end concept. And that's built on, built on the Solana blockchain. And with the level of backers it has, and walk to end, actually. Walk to earn. And uh, my, my colleague also mentioned sync to earn might come up at some point, but we'll watch out for that. All right, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Solo Marabunde, thank you so much. Digital Market Alice, it was great having you. Yeah, thank you.